presented by Visa, a network giving small businesses tools to grow. So uh, our MVPs come in the form of some sleepers. We each have a couple. Who is first on your list? A lot of Trojans. Yeah, today, man, Marcus. I dig this. Amon Ross St. Brown, who is someone that I liked and I know you liked coming into the year. And it's it was a slow start, but it's coming to fruition. The last two weeks, he's got eight targets in each game. He's either tied or had the team lead in each of those games. He's top 13 fantasy points in both of them. Uh, Quintus Cephas left early last week. He's banged up. The Lions are just searching for anyone to step up in the passing game. And with Hawkinson trending down and, and the other guys banged up, Amon Ross St. Brown is really stepped up and something I've said since before the season even started he's a big slot receiver who I thought could have been a safety blanket to Jared Goff kind of like a poor man's Cooper Cup was for for Goff out here in LA and it's starting to happen so I'm getting pretty excited about St. Brown I picked him up in a couple of leagues where he was dropped and I think he's a, a sleeper in a good matchup against Cincinnati yeah that uh, that cup comparison just keeps coming up repeatedly and I think it's it's starting to become true it's why I, I took some late shots on him and a whole lot of drafts kind of waiting for this moment, and uh, it's finally happening. Uh, I'm going to go Carson Wentz here, who uh, played way better against the Ravens than I would have anticipated. Had over 20 points in that one. In fact, that was his highest scoring game of the year. Uh, and now this week has a very, very good matchup uh, against the Houston Texans. Um, I'll say this. The Texans' defense, at least by the numbers, is not as bad as I thought it would be, but uh, it's also not great either. No. So, um, so again, if you're streaming quarterbacks, if you need help at the position, Carson Wentz, I think, is uh, has a nice opportunity this week against Houston. Yeah. Um, yeah, next. I, yeah. I felt bad for him uh, watching him miss the – Watching him watch the missed field goal at the end of regulation, <laughs> I feel bad. So yeah, what what else could he have done? I mean, he did he did everything he could to help them get that. He was just like, come on, come on, <laughs> and then it just oh, I feel bad for the guy. Uh, all right, who's uh, who's your next sleeper? This is definitely a sleeper because this is someone that. Even as of last week, we had on I think he was rostered in zero percent of NFL.com <laughs> leagues. Ricky Seals Jones. I I know it's kind of gross, but tight end is gross, and it's even <laughs> grosser with. Teams on by this week taking away come a couple of must-start options and then Dallas Goddard being absent from us right now. So I think if you are desperate for a tight end, and many people are, Seals Jones is a name for you. Eight targets last week was tied for the second most on the team. He played almost 100% of the snaps. Logan Thomas is on the IR right now, and with him out, Seals Jones is stepping up and is their number one tight end. And I think this is going to be a game, Marcus, where against the Chiefs, they're going to have to throw a good amount. We just saw Dawson Knox burn the Chiefs last week so I think Ricky Seals Jones is a sleeper tight end this week he is currently rostered in 0.6 percent of NFL.com leagues so I'm gonna go out on a limb and say there's a very good chance he is available in your <laughs> league uh, if you need tight end help as somebody who lost Max Williams in a very deep league uh, I fall into that category um, my last sleeper is Evan Ingram if we're gonna stay on tight ends and I know it's hard for people to kind of get behind the idea of Evan Ingram nowadays. Um, it has not been particularly great. But uh, the last few weeks, he's seen quite a bit of targets. He's had, uh, I believe, uh, 16 targets over the last three games. Is is Actually has a, a – it's not quite a career high catch rate, but it's pretty close. So he's actually trying to do things with them and with so many injuries <laughs> – I mean, look, I, I, that was been the big knock on him, right? That he he had hands of stone the last couple of years. So, um, with the, all the injuries in New York, right? Uh, Kenny Galladay with that hyperextended knee, still waiting to see what's going to happen with Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton. Um, you know, even Tony's a little banged up, right? A little bit banged up. He's got what a foot injury, I believe. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't try to punch anybody else <laughs> next week. Uh, you know, we know Saquon's going to be out. Basically, what I'm saying is the Giants need to go somewhere with the football. Uh, and that very well could be Evan Ingram. The matchup isn't necessarily great against the Rams, but I just think the volume uh, is going to be there potentially for him. So uh, I've got him kind of uh, as a sleeper this week. I, I like it. I have him as a top 15 tight end. He might not – forget being the Giants' tight end one this week. He might be their wide receiver one. Uh, and Mike Glennon's not going to be throwing – if it is Mike Glennon, he's not going to be airing the ball out. He's going to be <laughs> taking those short shots to uh, to Evan Ingram. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. By the way, uh, this is just coming across Twitter as we're sitting here recording this. Uh, Christian McCaffrey is at practice today, though Matt Rule uh, says he's going to be limited, but they are hopeful – that he can play against the Vikings this week. I ranked him this week expecting him to play. I mean, he, he almost suited up last week. I think this week is the week that they're going to be like, all right, 
we, we, we're going to let you get back out there. Yeah, I mean, I put him in some lineups last week and then had to make the last-minute change to pull him out. I'm doing the same thing. I've got him in the lineup right now, and we'll follow this along, and then if I have to make a change on Sunday, then uh, so be it.